Today we're going to look at how you can explore Service Stack APIs using just the command line and walk through some of the examples of the new inspect and send commands of the Service Stack X tool. The Service Stack X tool has recently added two new commands that help make exploring and interacting with services more flexible for those that love using their command line. Command line tools are not commonly described as user friendly, but if you're someone that spends a lot of time with them, they can be extremely useful to quickly view information you need straight from the terminal. Before we walk through an example, you'll need both the latest .NET 5 SDK and the Service Stack X tool itself. If you haven't got the Service Stack X tool installed, you can install it using the command .NET tool install gx. If you do already have it installed, make sure you have the latest version by running the command .NET tool update gx. Let's first walk through the functionality of the two new commands, inspect and send. Starting with inspect, this provides the ability to discover endpoints for the service stack host just by running the command x inspect space the host address. The output is a summary of the host services, including a table of API name, route, and response type. Additionally, more information about an API can be retrieved along with the code for the related data transfer objects, or DTOs, by providing the API name after the host argument. Here we can see the return showing us tags, route details, as well as the request and response DTOs in C Sharp. Switching to another server stack host and endpoint that requires authentication, we get even more details about the types of authentication available and the required roles. The metadata displayed will depend on the endpoint itself, but it will always show the associated DTOs. If you prefer reading the request and response DTOs in another language, you can do so by specifying the hyphen lang argument with the language of interest, and you can run x inspect to see the full list of supported languages. Moving on to the send command, we have an alternate way of invoking service stack APIs with a concise syntax and viewing the results in a table view right in the terminal. Service stack services are just HTTP services, but because of how the message based architecture of a service stack host works, we can make calling services directly using API names which are unique within a host. For example, using the techstacks.io demo, we can query the app overview API using the command x send the techstacks host app overview. This will return us a table of the response data formatted for the command line interface or CLI. We also didn't need to know which verb was needed for the API as the X tool does this for us. However, we can still specify the verb we want to use by replacing the send command with the verb of our choice. For large complex data that doesn't present well in the limited room in our terminal, we might just want to know the schema of the API response that is easy to read in the language we're familiar with. Instead of trying to look at the response data to infer the schema, we can switch to use the inspect command to make it clearer. Using the command x inspect the host URL followed by the API name app overview, we can see a summary of the endpoint as well as the request and response type. The response type has all tiers and top technologies of types option and technology info respectively, as by default we only see a summary, but we can add the dot star suffix to the API name in the last argument. This shows us the full code for all related types for the app overview API. Let's move on to take a look at one of TechStack's main APIs, Query TechStacks, to find the IDs, names, and vendors of all the popular TechStacks. If you're ever unsure about the syntax for the send command, or can't remember the name of the API you want, you can always use instant client apps to explore your own API. Once you select your domain and select the API you want to invoke, the x send command is generated down below for ease of use. This is an auto query endpoint with a lot of data in it, and the default query returns us everything which is hard to visualize in the limited UI of the command line. Switching over to inspect, we can see the response class technology stack view has got a lot of columns that we aren't interested in, but we can quickly see the names of the fields we do want, ID, name, and vendor name. We can provide a JS object syntax to help us filter the response. Auto query endpoints support passing fields as an array to limit what is returned, so using the quoted JS object, we can get a nice list of the tech stacks and their vendors. 
This list returned is still pretty long, so let's limit the results so we only see the top 10 tech stacks. We can alter the JS object query to order by view count descending and take the first 10 by using the following syntax. As a more intuitive alternative, we can use instant client apps to build this query for us by filling in the details of the query on the left hand side and then copying the command straight from the browser. Using the ID, let's add one of these text stacks to our favorites. This functionality in Text Stacks API requires authentication. The send command supports five main different forms of authentication. Token, basic, auth secret, SSID, which is your service stack session cookie, and cookie files. For specific details on each one, check out the service stack docs link in the description, but for this example we're going to use JWT to authenticate with text stacks, which I've previously generated using the session to token endpoint. Another handy feature if you are using JSON Web Tokens or JWT is that if you want to validate the details of that token, you can use the command x inspect JWT, followed by the token itself. Here we can see the details of the JSON web token that ServerStack has generated. So even though Twitter was used to authenticate through the web UI, we can generate and reuse the JWT here for the send command. Specifying our JSON web token with the token option, we'll use the ID of the tech stack we want to favorite in the send command's JS object. As an alternative, if the body we wanted to send through the send command was large and complex, we could also pass it in from a file. If we are then having trouble with an API, xsend can also be handy for debugging with the raw option which contains the full request and response details. And lastly, the hyphen json option can be used to easily return json in the response. This allows you to save the response to a file or even use tools like jq to automate tasks using the data from your service stack services. These are just a few examples of how you can use the new features in the XTool to explore the metadata of your services using inspect as well as using the send command with your APIs with a concise syntax thanks to the message based design. That's it for this video, I hope you found it useful and thanks for watching.